Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. In today's material, we'll discuss the topic of plastic bags and if they are dangerous for your cat. While many cats do have a habit of playing with and chewing on plastic bags, especially grocery style bags, this behavior can become dangerous if your cat begins to lick or consume the little pieces of the bags. Before we attempt to explain this behavior, why cats do it, and the potential dangers involved in greater detail, let's first take a look at our topic overview. Your cat might chew on a plastic bag because it is a curious new object worth investigating, or he considers it a fun, interactive toy. The cat may like the flavor of biodegradable plastic or enjoys the smell of food that's left behind. Kittens often teethe on plastic bags, while stressed cats or those with dental issues chew on plastic for relief. There are times when a cat will eat a plastic bag because it's nutrient deficient, has pica, or has OCD. Before we hit the ground running and cover our initial subtopic today, let's first talk about pica, just briefly. What is it? Pica is a medical condition that can be essentially boiled down to the compulsion to eat things that are not food items. Burmese and Siamese felines, just to name a couple, are more likely to develop this condition. Cats with pica will gladly chew on items and substances such as cardboard, paper, fabric, plastic houseplants, and you guessed it, plastic bags. It's essentially like playing with a chew toy, but taking it too far. Far enough, in fact, to the point where the items more or less become food, as chewing turns into actual consumption. With respect to the topic of plastic bags, this is the core danger, the bag itself coupled with pica. This can lead your cat to tear the bag apart and potentially eat small pieces. This can cause a host of issues if the tiny pieces are not able to be passed naturally. And with our introduction, mixed in with a few critical points of groundwork, before we begin, we'd just like to express our gratitude to you, the viewer. We thank you for your time and we thank you for all of your support. Whether this is your first time viewing our material or you've been here for many months or years, we thank you and we hope you find today's content helpful. Now, let's get started. Cats love to play and that's a given. You wave most anything in front of a cat and they'll take a slap at it or attempt to bite it. That's just the way it goes. However, some cats love to chew things and potentially consume items that just are not food. Let's take a look at several reasons why some cats just can't get enough of plastic bags. The first reason is due to a nutrient deficiency. Because chewing is an impulse, if your cat is lacking a proper diet of fat and protein, your cat, either consciously or subconsciously, could turn to a plastic bag in an attempt to fulfill their needs. The faint smell of food from a plastic grocery bag could give your cat the sense that the material, well, is in fact food. The next reason for chewing plastic is due to dental problems. Some cats will chew on objects either during teething or during adulthood as a way to soothe irritated teeth and gums. We encourage you to take your cat to the vet to determine if your pet has an existing dental concern. Additionally, Listen for any sounds of pain or discomfort while your cat is either chewing on the bag or chewing normal food. The next reason as to why some cats love to lick and chew plastic bags is taste and texture. We mentioned the smell of food a bit earlier. When you couple a grocery bag with the soft texture of plastic, your cat could simply be drawn to everything about it. Yet another reason for plastic bag attraction is due to obsessive compulsive disorder. This condition is usually associated with humans, but it can affect cats in a very similar way. OCD can cause your cat to enter a repetitive state where your pet licks, chews, or even consumes plastic without any type of real purpose. Curiosity, the desire to exhibit predator instincts, hunting and capturing the prey that the bag is itself, and the desire to blow off some steam and release stress and anxiety using the bag as an outlet, and the aforementioned pica are also a few reasons for this type of behavior. The core issue with plastic bags, even if the theme is just fun play, tearing of the bag can lead to even more curiosity and tearing leads to small pieces. Small pieces can lead to finer chewing and said chewing can lead to consumption, either intentional or accidental. 
While fine pieces, especially in an adult healthy cat, can usually be passed without issue, this is not always the case. In severe cases, an intestinal blockage can occur. Signs of trouble can be present in the form of excessive drooling and vomiting, a sharp and distinct, almost sudden loss of appetite, lethargy, behavioral changes, and diarrhea. If your cat has consumed a portion of a plastic bag, either through your own conclusions or something that you witnessed firsthand, please keep a very close eye on your pet. If any of the symptoms we just mentioned begin to manifest, especially in clusters, then it becomes critical to seek medical attention immediately. While an intestinal blockage can prove to be quite serious, it should also be said that choking, strangulation, and suffocation can also occur. It's not always about the dangers of licking the bags, chewing, or consumption. Plastic bags can pose other threats, which only adds to the dangers and drives home the importance of this topic as a whole. Cat toys coupled with your time and attention. That's the best overall way to stop your cat from chewing on and playing with plastic bags. While placing the bags out of sight and out of reach of your pet is clearly the most obvious route to take, sometimes that option is simply not possible as the bags serve a purpose to you and you need them out in the open spaces. Cat toys and toys such as food toys, mazes, catnip, and cat style toys can give your pet what it needs and provide your cat with a replacement to plastic bags. Anything that can mimic the sensation of plastic and the overall thrill is really what you're looking for. If your cat's attention to plastic bags is more or less out of boredom, this is where you come in. In the most literal sense, engage directly with your cat on a daily basis in a play session if possible. This will allow your cat to scratch that itch, so hopefully they'll no longer have the desire to use plastic bags as a form of recreation. And on that note, that will conclude things for the video portion of today's material. However, if you'd like to know more about this very important topic, we do invite you to visit us at SeniorCatWellness.com at the conclusion of today's presentation. There you will find a full-length and highly detailed article that will serve to drive home many of the points we have mentioned here today. We hope you'll check it out. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, we do encourage you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to all of the info. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.